welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and today I'm working on a scarf pattern. This is a marshmallow crochet style that you have seen me do before, and today I'm gonna make it into a scarf. It works up really lovely, and I'm using Karen Cakes today. It's got 20% wool. You could also use the, so this is, this is from Michaels. It's a limited edition, and uh, it's Karen Cakes, and it is, um, it's gonna make one scarf with this ball of yarn here. It's got 20% wool, 80% acrylic, and there's 383 yards in it, or 350 um, meters. And the color is lemon lime, uh, 17007. Uh, they are, are making more of this and will be um, flying in, actually. Um, I'm not sure the quantity on the Premier um, sweet rolls that are similar to these this kind of cake design but um, you should be able to get one out of it and you'll just stop um, a little bit short so this this pattern will work up um, with one ball of yarn it's approximately 60 inches wide um, a little over 150 centimeters you're going to use an H hook a USH or five millimeter this one's from boy um, you can use any hook it doesn't matter whatever is more comfortable for you and it's going to have this really cool striped effect and then the ends are going to look angled like this like this and so i'm going to cast on a small sample i'll show you how to start it and how to do the first few rows and then we will finish off this scarf because it's actually not done quite yet it's just going to take me a stitch longer i'm just going to show you how to fasten it off and so today i'm going to um we're going to move this aside here and pull from the Karen. Okay, I've got my hook and I've got my yarn and I'm going to cast on 141 stitches. The stitch um, repeat is, the, the, is a multiple of two plus three, so make sure that it's divisible by two and then add three. I'm going I'm, to make a chain of 19 for my sample purposes, so if you just want to test it in a sample then and then get into your, your scarf, so you're just going to want a worsted weight yarn and um, make this sample. So we're going to make our slip knot. I wind it around my hand, my finger like this, pull the back over the front and the back over the front again. That's how I make my slip knot. Put that on and I'm going to do 19. So chain 19, wrap around, chain one, two, and you're going to go to um, 141. Keep going until you get your stitch count and I'll meet you back in a moment. We've got our stitch count. I have 19 for a sample. Again, you're going to want 141 for this shawl here. I mean, I'm sorry. You want 141 for this scarf here. If you like the scarf and you want to keep going until it ends in a total point, you can actually use this tutorial to make your shawl. Um, so you're just going to need a couple of balls of yarn. I would get three just in case. Okay, so now we're gonna start our um, our first one and we're going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So we've got um, one, two, three, go in here. I always lay the two, um, two chains on top of my hook. That's how I go in, not everybody's the same, that's how I do it. So now we're going to um, go pull through two and two to get our double crochet. And then we're going to skip the next two chains. So skip one, two, and then go into the third. Get that stitch on top. And we're going to single crochet. Pull that through and pull that through. That's one single. And now we're going to do two double in that same hole here. Pull through two, pull through two. Here's my second double. Put it in, grab our yarn. Pull through two and two. That's one textured stitch. So this is the first row. The first row is the hardest. And um, once you get going, it really flies. I promise, <laughs> I really do. Um, so now you want to um, keep going with this. You're going to skip two and continue with the texture stitch. So I'm going to uh, skip one, two. 
and go through and do a single and a double and a double another single just get one two and go in that third one yeah, I did the single so we're gonna do a double another double and skip and just keep going uh, keep skipping and I'll meet you back at the end of this row so I'm toward the end now it looks like I have four stitches left and I'm going to still skip two and if you if you kind of fudged and you got the wrong one this pattern is really forgiving so um, you can you'll, you'll, you should have one left but if you have two left that's okay like if you went too early earlier on in your row okay so I've got my last one and I have this little doodad here <laughs> this extra piece here so I'm just gonna go in and we're gonna do a single crochet. Make sure and get two loops on the top here or else you'll have this really weird bump. And then we're gonna pull that through, okay, and single crochet. Okay, so now I have finished row one, my foundation row. It really picks up after this. So row two is pretty simple. We're just gonna chain up one, two, and turn. And then we're going to do two double crochet in the first chain uh, from the hook here. So down here, first in the first stitch. So that's one, two. Because that first um, chaining when you before you turn, that's going to serve as your single crochet. So it looks like one textured stitch. So you're going to do textured stitches all the way down every time you see one of these dips here. So every time you see a dip, you're gonna go in and do a textured stitch, and then we're gonna stop one short down here. Now, for the first row, um, I actually did it on my scarf. Um, I actually went all the way to the end like I normally do, just because I felt like this was just too thin of a little bump. But in hindsight, um, I'll show you what it looked like on mine. So if you forget, if you forget, this is what it's gonna look like down here. So it kind of does this little tiny thing. But down on the next row, I had gone and I had moved over like this. So you can do either one. You can single crochet in the last stitch and then build it up like this, or you can stop short. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like stopping short. Oh, turn my work around. Okay, now we're gonna single crochet into this, this stitch right here. So when you pull this apart, it's this little hole right here. Double crochet two times. Single crochet. And a double. And another double. And then go ahead and keep going on yours. Uh, you've got 141, so continue until you get one stitch from the end and meet me back up. If I'm showing this stitch too fast and you're not familiar, I have basics on my channel of how to make the single crochet and double crochet and do a foundation chain. So you can check out those videos and we'll have links below to a playlist on how to do that. And 
The instructor is um, myself and also Michael with the Crochet Crowd, courtesy of him. And then I also have the Marshmallow Crochet Baby Blanket, which also teaches this stitch. The written pattern for this project will be in the description below and also on my blog. Okay, so I'm one stitch from the end here. It looks like I have two of the textured stitches, but this is technically the end. And so I'm going to fasten off this row by making a single crochet, not a slip stitch, but a single crochet. And um, so I'm just going to go straight in pull through, yarn over, and pull through both. And that is the end of this row. Now I'm going to move on to another, what I call a row two. The row two is a repeatable row. So we're going to chain up one, two, and turn and complete doing it again. So again, you start off with two double crochet in the first stitch. And complete your texture stitch. You're going to continue with this pattern until you are out of yarn basically and you're going to end and fasten off at the end. I'm going to show you that one more time and then we'll weave in the ends. Now I'm going to show you very slowly. So if you don't know how to single crochet, I'm going to show you very slowly. Okay, so here's my slow motion. I'm going to have your chain uh, on your hook. You've got a loop. You're going to go into the stitch. Put those two top chains on here, yarn over, pull through the hole. Now you have two on your hook, yarn over again, and pull through. One, two. We're going to do a double crochet. A double crochet is you yarn over first, go through the hole, yarn over again, pull it through. You'll have two uh, loops here, and then that extra one that you pull through. So you got three on the hook. We're gonna go yarn over again. So we have th four on the hook. We're gonna pull through the first two only. Yarn over again and pull through the last two. That's one double crochet. One more for the textured stitch. Pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's it. So meet me back up when you are finished and um, we will complete this project together. <laughs> I'm coming to the end of my scarf here, and I've got one, two, three of these textured stitches left. I'm in the middle of this last one here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull through and make one more double crochet. So I've got one more textured stitch done. If, if you're not sure, one way to count is just to kind of feel your way. Oh, I have one, two, three. I kind of touch those knots there. And then we're gonna go down to the end pull through and do a single crochet, and then we just um, end it. Um, I am going to pull through and finish. Um, if, you, if you want to have one more bump, you can go one more over and fasten it off here. I completely ran out of yarn, quite honestly, and so I would, um, I think it's fine ending it right here, especially if you have a color change. So if your color change is um, coming early, um, then you might end it a few short. That's totally okay because I said this is a color changing yarn and you will see. So check this out. So this is the original chain. This is the starting chain here. And see this real thin color of the lighter purple? It goes all the way down and by the time it comes to the end, you're coming back on itself for the foundation and see how it's thicker on this side than it is on this side. Okay, and then um, we come all the way down here and then we go back and it has more of the purple on it there than here. See how that works? But it does have this really cool rainbow effect. In some areas you can see right where it changes. Some of them it sort of looks like it just changes at the end. But overall it looks like this really cool rainbowy striped st scarf. I'm going to go ahead and weave in the ends my tapestry needle and I'm going to thread that in. You can use your crochet hook and I'm just going to go back on itself through several of these stitches. And I want to keep it in the green. Okay. 
and I can I can really mess with it and make it like if I'm like oh I pulled through too much like right here I just want to accentuate that you can then uh, pull it out and go back and then go around you can go through that top stitch there I like to actually go through these texture stitches kind of through this little um, through the stitch kind of weaving it through like that see how it it hides it like that so let's say you're done and you've gone through several go ahead and cut that off and we went to whoops we're gonna do the beginning this scarf is about six inches wide I think and then this one's the trickier one because um, it the color change was very short on it so I'm just gonna carefully weave through here see how that is because if you just start weaving up through here you're gonna notice the color and we don't really want to see that change and it'll be kind of jarring so I'm just going back and forth weaving it in and then it's good to go back on itself and get it locked in pull that on through and clip it Actually, I'm going to pop that out cut it there well thank you for joining me at Good Knit Kisses I hope you enjoyed your marshmallow crochet scarf or shawl and I hope you have a wonderful time crafting and creating happy crochet